Terry. Hello everyone. Welcome to Winland Eduke. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Previous we looked at the uh, elbow anastomosis. So now we are going to look at the scapula anastomosis. Check out on their video. So now we are going to look at this scapula anastomosis. So in the scapula we see that there are two important anastomoses that occur. There's one that occurs at the body and one at the acromion process. So basically the scapular anastomosis is contributed mainly by the branches of the subclavian artery together with other branches that, that uh, the subscapular artery which is a branch of the third part of the axillary artery. So basically now this subclavian artery, you know it gives us three main division but now we are going to concentrate on the suprascapular artery which is derived from the so this is our subclavian artery. Which gives us this tyro cervical trunk. Now from this tyro cervical trunk we see that there is important uh, tributaries. This is what we call the, uh, the, the vertebral artery. Uh, but you are going to concentrate on this. This is the suprascapular artery, then we have the dorsoscapular artery. So now after looking at that, also here, the third part of the axillary artery gives us the subscapular artery, which gives us two main branches, that is the circumflex scapula. This one is the circumflex scapula, together with the thoraco dorsal artery. So the thing to note is that the scapular anastomosis of the body is got from the subclavian artery giving off the suprascapular artery together with the, together with the deep, deep cervical artery or the, the, the dorsal scapular artery. So we are going to have the dorsal scapular artery. Now when I come back now to the acromion process, so we have in the acromion process we see uh, arteries that supply it eh? and they make an anastomosis. So first of all, we have, we know that the, the axillary artery is divided into three by the pectoralis minor. So the pectoralis minor divides into three parts. So we have the first part that's, and each part has branches. The first part has one branch, the second has two, and the third one has what? Three. So the first one, which has the superior thoracic artery, the second which has two branches, that's you have the lateral thoracic, and also we have the thoraco acromion. Then the third part which has three arteries. So the first one we shall have the subscapular, and also we have other three two branches. That is that the anterior and the posterior circumflex humeral so those are the branches from the axillary artery which is a continuation of subclavian artery and you know it's demarcations so now one thing we noted that from the scapular anastomosis you see that this subscapular artery which is this gives off the circumflex scapula this subscapular gives a circumscapula which anastomizes with the supra scapular artery we noted that then also we know that this Thoracodosal artery, together with the dorsal scapula, we make an anastomosis on the body of the scapula. Now, when you look at this at this point, uh, the second division of the axillary artery gives off the thoracoacromion, which divides into four branches. You know that. But now, the acromion part of those four branches runs to supply the acromion process, together with the branch from the suprascapular artery supply the acromion process. So from that, we looked at the main divisions of the, scap uh, of the, the anastomosis of the scapula together with the divisions of the axillary artery. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.